welcome to the Mindset Makeover Show. On today's show, we're going to be exploring together an interesting topic, actually. It's around self-evaluation, and um, it's titled The Mindset Health, health Check. It's basically, you know, like you go to the doctors and they do a health check. We're trying to do, to check the condition of our mind um, today, and we invite you to join us via Twitter, uh, Facebook page, um, phone in, all the details are on the screen. And um, to help me on the set today, I've got a couple of guests. Before I introduce them, I'm just going to tease you with something. What is the state of your mind? What is the condition of your mind? Your mindset, you know, that's your beliefs, your attitudes. How are they helping you? Are they helping you to live a good life? Those are the kind of questions we're going to be exploring tonight. And that's just to help you start thinking about it So, so before you pick up the phone or send a, a tweet. Okay, so yeah, um, with me here I have Clara Damo. Thank you, Clara. Thank you for inviting me. And Leke Aditola. Thank you, Leke, Thank for you. joining me. So yeah, so the three of us are going to be um, chatting our way through the show. And of course, we'll be taking questions, contributions from you, from home. And um, so we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. So yes, um, I will start with Clara. I think we should actually define what we understand a mindset to be. So do you want to go first, Clara? Um, a mindset, as far as I'm concerned, a mindset is how I deal with a particular situation and how I react to it. That, for me, is what a mindset is. Okay. Thank you. Leke? Thank you very much. Um, mindset is the mental attitude and disposition of a person towards them. Um, reaction to a situation mm -hmm. or an action yeah so is um like just like what clara said is how i react to something mm -hmm. or an event or mm -hmm. a situation mm -hmm. so what kind of mind do i have is it in a am i thinking in a positive way or in a negative way to mm -hmm. that situation okay thank you yes and um just to add to that um yeah i define a mindset as that combination of your beliefs you know your attitudes to situations or life generally, your your values and um, your experience is a combination of all those things. So when you, how do you approach a situation? As you know, my two guests have said, when you when you're faced with a situation in life, your reaction to it is determined by your mindset, definitely. Yeah, some people will come out of it stronger. Oh, we have a caller. Thank you. Who have we got on the line? Hello, good evening. This is Olu. Hello, Olu. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Belvedere in Kent. Oh, hi, Olu. Thank you. Thanks for calling in. So, yeah. So, what do you understand to be by the concept of a mindset? What do you understand that to mean? Well, um, firstly, because I believe mindset is all about individual and the way people think about things as well. Yes. So, then... Um, I think basically it's just to have a support because everyone thinks differently. Yeah. So having to have an open discussion will probably help a lot of people. Indeed, indeed, indeed. And um, and yeah, just to add to that again, it's that's why this this concept of a mindset health check is something that one should be doing regularly. So if yeah. you're faced with a situation um, and um, you're not quite sure how to handle it, yes, you. As you said, support. You might want. You might have a friend who has a similar mindset about that particular facet of life. So if it's about mm -hmm. business, yeah. So I, yeah. Um, I always joke that I, I haven't got a business mindset. So don't call me and ask me how to sell things. Call me and ask me. Oh, how I want. I want to find out some about something. I can help with information gathering. But when it comes to selling, I couldn't sell anything. I will give it away. So I haven't got a business mindset. But you know, yeah. if you call my brother you know or my sister they have a very good business sense i just give stuff away they they're very shrewd so you know it's, it's good to know the people in your life in your sphere of influence i call it who you can call on so if it's if it's about education about goal setting then definitely call me you know but yeah. so you need to identify the people that can support you as you mentioned Olu. so yeah that's interesting yeah. and and something else i want to throw into the mix is thinking about how how do we acquire our mindset you know, some people, when they were younger, it's been drummed into them, you know, that, oh, you've got to be like a spendthrift. You're mosing through all your money away, 
and they grow up with an with something like a, what I call a scarcity mindset. They're always thinking mm. things aren't going to be enough. You know, things aren't going to be enough. Whereas somebody else they've been raised to to squander whatever they have. You know, no yeah. balance there. So they've been raised to kind of just I, whatever I see, I must have. Yeah. So you have well, I mean, another thing I could, I could keep in, it's um, from my understanding as well, that some people do have inherited these from probably their parents yep. or their Indeed. siblings. Yep. Indeed. Yeah. So, I mean, it's another way of, you know, helping, having a support that, you know, things as in you could have a thinking about these, but another person might have a different way. Mm -hmm. So it's basically it's all about enlightening each other, really. So. Indeed. Indeed. Clara? Yeah. What have you got to add to that? Um, what have I got to add to that? Well, what I would say is that I think it's very easy to say, oh, it, it depends on h how your parents perhaps brought you up and that's how you then become. Um, mm. I don't know. I just think that experiences determine mindsets. Absolutely. Um, and I think that perhaps before we start talking about mindsets, our mindset, we should probably take a step back and describe the different types of mindsets Indeed. there are. There are loads. Yes. yes. Where do you want to start? We're going to be so, exploring them over the next few so years. So when you invited me on this show, <laughs> when you invited me onto this show, I went to look up mindset mm -hmm. and the different types. And I found out that I, I kind of was in category one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. So the first one is status quo. Mm -hmm. So that's where you're fine with the way things are. Yep. You don't want to change anything. Yep. You're just fine. You're a nine to fiver. That's what you want to do. You don't want to change the world. You're fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Works for you. That's, Keep it. And then there's the second one, which is the doubt and fear. Mm -hmm. And I think yeah. I was in that for such a long time, which is I had all these ideas about how I wanted to change myself and my situation and the people around me, but I was so scared to do anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the third type, and I think you probably fall into that category. Uh, you give us hope, which is the courage and vigor okay. uh, uh, mindset, and that's where you were actually acting upon all of those ideals and uh, those ideas and all those things that you want to make happen. Whether you fail or not is another story, but mm -hmm. actually trying. And so I think that we should throw that to our viewers and see what they think. Yeah. Where do yeah. they fall? Yeah. Leke, do you mm. want yeah. to chip in? Yes. Um, picking on what Clara said, uh, I'll say I fall in the second category which is the 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 doubt and the, the fear. doubt and the fear but now I'm trying to move up to the third category because um, stethoscope yeah I think everybody started from there that yeah. oh this the is where we yeah, zone, that, yeah. the, that's the comfort mm -hmm. zone that's what we grew up with yeah. like what we've been discussing around like what Olu said that it depends on your experience um, where you grew up from and maybe you've been spending spend straight or you've been saving money, mm -hmm. your mental attitude to, to things and to spending or even the, 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 your background basically mm -hmm. has a lot to do with your mindset. Indeed. So Absolutely. I will say I've, I fit myself in the second category co copying what Larry <laughs> Clara said. <laughs> and, you um, have a call I'm, on the line. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, Olu, so, we're going to come yeah. to Olu next. Oh, I just oh, wanted... I'm okay. sorry, like it to add yeah, to sorry, so here, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So really I'm fitting myself in the second category, but moving towards the third cat and the third type, which is uh, having courage to going step out, out there to step out of yeah. your comfort zone. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Olu. Yeah. Right, okay. I'll probably like well, Lacey and Clara said, from what I'll actually put myself from one, two, three. To be honest with you, like the first one saying about the comfort zone, yes, I do have, I mean, like, you know, like somebody saying I'm a nine to five person, but at the same time, I've kind of, you know, hear people's experiences, try to see if I could change things. It's all about what works for me as well. 
It, it's all about what works for me. Indeed. And also in the second, having a doubt and fear. Sometimes I do, but I've tried to, like we all say that, you know, it, it's experiences and then, you know, you've actually seen someone that's been through something before. But i have just kind of saying in terms of the fear and the doubt, um, I'm a very strong person that I could easily just say, you know what, I've been thinking about this thing. But what cares? If this is going to work for me and this is not going to affect other people, you know, in a very bad way, I see no reason why I can get myself out of that fear. Yeah. yeah. So that works for me. Yeah. Yeah, and then the third it. one in terms of actually comfort. Yeah. Yes, I do, you know, not comfort. Um, sorry, I can't remember the third one. I think it's something the to do with um, encouraging, is it? Courage and vigor. Yeah, encouraging and giving hope. Yeah, I mean, I have, um, I do have that kind of mindset as well. But, you know, you, you learn every day. You learn from people's experiences. You learn from having to do a research or find out about, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, I guess everyone falls in different categories. So, Indeed. yeah. <laughs> Indeed. And, um, you know, just to add from my perspective to what Clara said earlier, um, the reason that it seems to you that I'm in the courage and vigor category is because um, I've come to a place in my life where I've decided that before I check out, I've got to make a difference. It doesn't matter how little. I hope it's not too little, but I've decided. I'm, and so because I haven't got a business mindset, <laughs> I wouldn't venture into something that costs money. I have skills that I can use that would not require me to go and get a loan. This is what I mean. Yeah. And that's where I, I, that's my, um, I've identified that to be my vision. And it's different from every, for everybody, as you said. Some people, yeah. they want to, they, they've promised themselves, somehow, they've settled for themselves that they must make millions. I haven't put a monetary value on my dreams. I've put an, it's, I've, I've kind of um, estimated my dreams instead in terms of impact. This is what I mean. Yeah. So, so, when, so when I wanted to write a book, or rather when I was writing a book, my first book, and I couldn't, um, and I tried to get a publisher, and they weren't interested because it wasn't big, you know, bulky enough. I didn't, I couldn't write too many pages. My experience, I just couldn't. So, um, and I shouldn't say couldn't. You know, when you look at mindset, that's a can-do mindset is what I say, but hey. So um, I decided that, you know what? Okay, so don't publish it for me. I'll publish it. <laughs> and even if I don't sell it, um, I will publish it and somehow will get into people's hands. And that's what I did. And um, so people say, oh, so how many have you sold? I think, I don't know. I've given some away. Somehow, some, uh, some people have got it, some bought for their friends, but I haven't actively gone out to market. Now, some people will look at that and say, oh, God, what's wrong with her? It was such a waste. Maybe, but because I have settled for myself, but that's my vision, I don't feel it's a waste. Now, that's what mindset, and that's what I've heard from you know, all of us, alluding to the fact that it's a personal thing. You it is a personal yeah, thing. Yeah, you need to figure out for yourself. I was, yeah. Um, yeah. I shouldn't. I want to give an example of how I learned about mindset. So yeah. basically, I was working in central government at the time, and I had a, a few members of staff that I, that I was responsible for. And I was about trying to make them, their careers go as far as they, you know, as, as it could possibly go. And so I, I started giving this particular guy tasks to do. And, and then I explained to him the reason in his one-to-one -one why I gave him this task, so that when it comes to his um, annual appraisal, he would tick all the boxes and he would be promoted. And he said to me, but Clara, I don't want to be promoted. There you go. I said, oh. and my jaw dropped. Like, what do you mean you don't want to be I, I'm I'm fine the way I am. I like going, uh, coming in at eight, leaving at four. I live with my mom and dad. I am fine. Yeah. I do not want to be promoted. And I thought, oh. Sure. And that's when I realized that, oh my God, not everybody thinks the same. No. Yeah. You know, not everybody has that goal to, you know, to go and con conquer the world. Yeah. They just find it's the way they are. Someone else, it's someone's goal, but not yeah. someone else's. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and Leke, what, what do you say about, you know, what do you, what, would you like to add to that? Yeah, I'll just use my own um, personal experience. Because mm -hmm. um, four years ago, I joined a network marketing. And, um, a network marketing business and um, to, I've been there right before I've been doing normal night to five job which I'm still doing now mm -hmm. but when I joined the network marketing um, business I realized that there are a lot of things that is happening around and um, people oh. and uh, people 
have different um, mind in mm -hmm. doing things. Mm -hmm. So I look at it this way that, okay, fine, there are some people with goal setting. I look at goal setting, how many people, do people make goals? Do they set goals for themselves? Mm -hmm. And then I look at some time management mm -hmm. with people, and I realize that different people I've met um, along the line, th th those people in the top rank and those that are just joining the business, I realize that we all have different mindset. But we have something in common, mm -hmm. which is um, obvi obviously making extra income and mm -hmm. leveraging your time mm -hmm. to get more money. Mm -hmm. And uh, in that, that really changes my mindset because mm -hmm. I look now I now look at the life in such a way that you need to impact on people, mm -hmm. add value to people's life, not mm -hmm. just about yourself. Mm -hmm. That 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 that's what I'm saying. I'm moving from the part, um, second, second part to the third, third one which I wish um, I want to be impacting on people's life, sharing my stories, telling them what I've been through, even though uh, we all look at our stories that mm, it's not big deal. But oh, yeah. your story had value oh, to someone yeah. else. Someone, someone. Someone. Yeah, definitely. No matter how big or small it is, it adds value to someone's life. What you say, ah, oh, um, it's just normal, but it's not normal to somebody else. Because yeah. once, once you tell that story, impact somebody's life absolutely absolutely and um you know we call it so um for me yeah have you got anything else to add um yeah um, i'll talk about my personal experience as well and i'll, I'll give an example of a colleague where um where i used to work just like clara said sometimes you don't understand how people feel you don't understand you know people that have fear i have a colleague as well that I was managing and she's been the company, the same company with me for like six and a half years. And I know that she, what she's doing at that time, she could do more. But she, she was, I mean, just like what Clara said, this lady actually said to me that, oh, no, she, she's fine because she hasn't got the confidence that if she leaves this company, she can't get any other company because she thinks she doesn't have the experience. But because I work with her, I know that, you know, it's just because she's so, you know, um, stagnant to where she is. She feels, you know, she hasn't got that confidence. She's got that fear mindset in her, mm -hmm. thinking that, oh, if she leaves this job, she doesn't think she's going to be able to get a job anywhere because this is where she's, you know, after university, this is her first job, and she's so used to what she's doing. But believe you me, I said to her, I said, you know what? I am going to help you. All you have to do is bring your CV. Let's work together. Believe you me, the first time that she went for a job, that job was the first job she got, and she wow. got like a 10,000 increase from where she was wow. I mean, from a previous job. Wow. And she often now she's still getting in touch with me and said, you know what, she realized that she thought she knew nothing, but until when she had to join this new company, she's realized that, you know, where she was working, she's lost the confidence, but now she's getting it back, wow. you know, because she had a manager that she could, you know, but she, I did give her support. So I think like it's just having an impact, like Lekki said, that you don't know until when you have to have impact on people, you don't know how mm -hmm. you could change people's lives. You know, because mm -hmm. there's some people that think that they don't have hope that, you know, having an impact in their life will really, you know, give them the support. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, Olu. You're welcome. Thank you for joining. Wow. Yeah, that's interesting, you know, because <laughs> you'll be surprised by some people the thing they've settled into a, a particular lifestyle. But when you have this kind of conversations, it's basically to get them thinking. Yeah. Mm. You know, because they might tell you there and then, oh, I'm fine where I am. But then after you go away, you know, you may have sown a seed. They may actually sit down when they go home and think, ah, I've always wanted to learn sewing. Yeah, Clara was saying something about how she went, she had a dream. And, I've always wanted to learn something. So why? What's stopping me? Let me go and inquire. And then they find out that there is actually a course that is running near them that is free of charge, mm -hmm. and you don't get if you don't ask, mm -hmm. basically. So, so it's good to have this kind of conversations because it does get people to think, you know, to evaluate. And fine, if someone goes off and says, "Well, actually, no, I'm quite okay." That's fine, also. But it's to make sure that when you have the opportunity to touch someone's life speak up that guy that told you that is fine maybe a few years later you may not be around he may actually think about it and begin to do something you may never hear about it that that
that word you spoke into his life was a seed. You may never find out, but somehow, somewhere, it will, it will hear those words again, and they may spur him into action, even if it's just to confirm to him that he's living a good life already, his best life. Something. Even if it's just to confirm, take it, or to actually say, well, actually, no, I'm not. Clara's right. You never know, but you shouldn't stop us okay. from trying to make impact. Okay, so next, so when we do this program again, yeah. w when the caller comes in, we're going to be saying, what category do you fall into first? Well, we have to describe the category. That's yes, we're yeah. Health check. Yes. Okay. When we're doing the health yes. check, yeah. Okay. It's interesting. Adding to what, um, what you just said, people's mind, I think the way, the way it works is um, we all have, a, we are all in a comfort zone. So um, fear makes us stay there. Yeah. Those are there. And sometimes information, we don't have enough information yeah. or we are not exposed or probably the experience. Yeah, indeed. Our mind works just like a cup of glass, really. If, you, if there's a mud water in there and you keep pouring clean water. Into the muddy one, it, it just gets it, all muddy. It, it, it gets muddy and you keep pouring clean water and at the end of the day, the, the water changes. Mm. So our mind is, it depends on what we feed our mind. True. Like the health check you said, what we feed our mind is, what, is the way we act to situations or actions. That is so if we are the type that, if someone is the type that listen to, say, personal development CDs or reading books or be thinking positive, reacting to things, you react to things in a positive way. Mm. Yeah, negative comes, but Sometimes, obviously, yeah, yeah you yeah. you work, you, you just conquer with a positive attitude, yeah. Yeah. and you, you can't just develop that all of a sudden. No, it's, so it's something you yeah. develop over time. Yeah, maybe indeed. what you've been feeding your mind. It's yeah. just like the food we eat. Yeah, if you eat junk, you're not gonna get diabetes every day or or, or any or, or or that sort of um, malnutrition. But it's over time. Yeah. So our, our mindset is. Something we can develop uh, on what we want it to be. Absolutely. So, is uh, if if you are in a um, like um, a fair zone that oh, I'm scared to do this. I'm scared. If you don't try, you don't know what you're gonna get. It, it's just like saying you can't pass a test when you have not even done it. Yeah, <laughs> so, I know. You know, you said something <laughs> about the, those personal development books. Yeah. You know, there's so many in the stores now. Mm. And back in the day, I used to buy them, I used to read them, and they're so interesting, and they tell you a lot of stuff and how you can change your life. And then I thought to myself one day, no, I'm not buying them anymore. Because <laughs> you haven't even made use of any of the... That was what I haven't I made know. use of any of them. But yeah. two, I could write the same book as well. I know what to do, I just haven't done it. Exactly. So, exactly. So action. I thought, no, I'm not doing it anymore. Well, you know. Until I actually act upon what I already yeah, know. Exactly. I'm not doing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but when you talk about fair, do you know that this show, I, I think I must have spoken to both of you already about it. That comfort zone category, hmm, it's a very good place to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite comfortable. So, so these days, because I don't work too far from home, I like to get home about 5, 5.30. And I got used to that. So when this idea, the idea of this show came up, I thought, oh my goodness, I'm going to go and commit to something every Wednesday, same time. What if, <laughs> what if there's traffic like today? Oh, well. Yeah? So what if I want to travel? What if I don't feel like? What if, and then all of those all what the what ifs, ifs came. Oh, all the what ifs. and you don't have to stretch yourself to get what ifs. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're that right there. You know, so they came in trepidation setting. I was like, oh, maybe I should call the producer to see. Maybe we should try for September. <laughs> <laughs> and then that same mindset that I had, and I was dealing with it. I spoke with you, I think, about it. I was trying to deal with it. I spoke with a friend a couple of days ago, and I said, oh, I'd like to have you on the show. She said, oh. I said, oh, she said, oh I don't think I can do it. I said, no, listen, you've got two months to think about it. You don't have to come on until September. And, I, and as I was saying, I thought, that's kind of hypocritical of you, isn't it? Because just a few days ago, you were thinking about no postponing comment. it yourself. <laughs> so I said to her, I said, listen, I know where you are. I know what it's like, but I promise you, once we're on that set, it's going to be like the sessions we have mm. in my house, for example, where you forget about the cameras and you just be yourself. Mm. She said, mm, OK, if you say so. I said, listen, if you have to practice, practice, but you're coming in September. <laughs> and after I said those words, I, I said them to myself. If you see what I mean, it was like I was saying them to myself. I thought, okay, that's it, you're doing it. 
Because I was going to say, mm, maybe we should wait till September. Maybe I should go, oh my goodness, we haven't done the flight. Oh my goodness, we've done. And I said, calm down. Mindset coach, calm down. <laughs> so we all, I think, and as Ola said, the, uh, our previous caller, we do sometimes um, evolve through those categories. Sometimes we actually span multiple categories. It depends on oh, the situation. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, so it's something to bear in mind. But I think what we're saying here, what I'm hearing is, as long as you keep checking yourself and you make that conscious effort to check. Because for me, the bottom line is, am I living my best life? If my answer is no, I then go, why am I not? Because I have this like that. Oh, OK, that's because I have so much to do. OK, get your notebook out. Write down a to-do. Your usual, I write a to-do list. And then I start looking at the list growing. But at least it's there. And then I begin to take one at a time, you know. But it's knowing what it is that's holding you back. If you ask yourself that question several times, and your answer is, yeah, I'm fine where I am, then you're fine. Ask again. Maybe you may not be so fine in two months or three, six months' time, but it's just to keep doing that health yeah. is, you know, is what I'm hearing, and I think that's what we're suggesting. I, I, I added to that. Um, people usually say, I'm fine where I am, but deep inside, some are, some are fine, but most are not, just because of the fear. Yeah. And um, it's all because we don't set goals, and um, people don't set goals, they just live the life, day as it comes. Yeah. So if you wake up in the morning, do you have things you do, say, every hour, every minute, mm -hmm. every second, mm -hmm. after yeah. your job? Do you, yeah. do, you, do, you, do you time yourself? Mm -hmm. Because we, we, we sit down on the TV, watch football for two hours, because <laughs> I'm a football fan. We sit down for two hours and watch football 90 minutes. And obviously, no, some not 90 minutes. The commentary at the end, you know, <laughs> yeah, and the, the match of the day, oh, all of the match of the day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. if hours. I miss some of the matches, sometimes you sit down there. I sit for six hours watching three matches. Oof. So yeah. that's six I hours. Can do that easily. And that's back. that's kind of a productive day <laughs> in the world of football. Exactly. <laughs> How much yeah. value is it adding to you? Oh, but hang on a minute. It could be adding value to you at that point in time because you've earned that downtime. I call it a mental health break. Some weekends, I just say to myself. I am taking a mental health weekend. And that's it, no housework. I'm just going to binge on video. I'm just going to watch until I drop. OK, and then when I say, oh, but you haven't edited that book you're supposed to edit, get the behind me, Satan. I am taking a break. <laughs> but I know that if I'm taking that break, it's because I have earned it. And, because, and the only yeah. reason I know I've earned it is because I have set myself goals. So I may decide to park my goal for one day to give my brain some rest. food, yeah. some social food, I call mm. it, mental health break again, yeah? And then I know that the next day I'm going to be back catching up. So yeah, so you might do it, but then if mm. that's all you're doing, and that's fine if you don't feel you're missing out. Yeah, you're right, but... If you haven't set yourself any standards... If you haven't set yourself... Not draw, you're, do you know what I mean? If you have set yourself, if you have set to yourself that this is where I want to get to in life, here and you may not set a target to you, you may not say by when I'm 50 or 40 or whatever. If you say this is where I want to get to, and you are here, and you know that God, because I'm a Christian, has not promised you forever. So if my target is up there and I am here today, I will be, I would be looking to set goals or be doing stuff that will be moving me up. At least I know that if I even if it's taking steps, I am doing something. Taking steps, yeah. But staying in one position and looking up, say, I should really be there. But down here is quite comfortable too. Exactly. So yeah. So <laughs> so yes. Um, so that's it. So basically, it's be, we're suggesting that we all do a mindset health check yeah. every so often. Mm -hmm. And the answer you get back to yourself is what will spur you on. It will spur you on. It will make you set new goals or celebrate the ones you've achieved, and then you keep moving up, you keep aspiring. So uh, on that note, we would like to round up today's show. Thank you very much. It's been entertaining. It's been interesting. And I like the categories, Clara. We must bring that up every yes, time. Yes, I hope we do. Yeah, yeah, so it would be good to see how we progress through. Yes. So yes. next time you come, you can tell us how you're advancing towards <laughs> the courage <laughs> category. And I may be able to tell you where fear has set me back to who knows mm. you know so thank you very much clara thank you Lake. you're welcome thank you thank and viewers thank you and thank you olu for joining us and the people who have texted in and whatsapped and um join us on facebook thank you and um we will be sharing with you in the next two days or so 
the topic for the next show. Thank you for joining.